Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, we will understand what is data, what is a database, what exactly is a DBMS system, and what do you mean by SQL and NoSQL. So let's get started. What exactly is data? Data is nothing but raw information in the form of numbers, words, or facts. And this raw information can be further analyzed to get insights or answers. Let me give you a few examples. Temperatures recorded each day is an example of data. Then you have customer reviews of a product. Then you have images representing different flower types. These are just a very few examples. There are loads and loads of examples out there. Now, data can be categorized into two types. The first type is qualitative data that is numerical data. It is something that can be measured and expressed as numbers. For example, age, height, temperature, sales figure, etc. Then you have qualitative data, also known as descriptive data, which describes qualities or characteristics, usually in words or categories. For example, colors, customer feedback, let's say the customer feedback is good or excellent, or types of music and others. Let's, let me give you another example. Uh, take these flowers for example. So when you describe the beauty of a flower, that's descriptive data. That is qualitative data. You're describing the quality of the data. When you describe someone's age, for example, 30, 40, 45, that is a numerical value and that's a quantitative data. All right. Now, what is a database? A database is nothing but an organized collection of information or data. And this is typically stored electronically in a computer system. Let me give you some examples. Phone contacts where you store names, numbers and emails are an example of a database. Then you have online shopping sites like Amazon, Flipkart, Walmart, etc. These are also an example of database because they store product details, prices and customer information. Then you have hospital records where information like medical history and treatments of patients are also kept. Again, database can be categorized into two main forms. The first type is relational database. These store data in the form of tables where there are columns and rows and these are related to each other. So a single database can have multiple tables and each table may have some or the other relation with each other. And basically relational database store structured data. Okay. The second type is non-relational database. These can store semi-structured and unstructured data in a variety of ways. And some examples are key value pairs. It also stores data in form of graphs and documents. Moving on, my apologies, moving on. What is a DBMS? A DBMS is a software system that manages a database, as simple as that. DBMS is known as database management system and it is used to organize, store and manage data in a database, which makes it easier to add, update, retrieve and delete any data that is already available in the database. Let me give you the two types of DBMS. The first type, the first major type is RDBMS, which is known as relational DBMS. This is a software which is used to interact with relational databases. The next type is non-relational DBMS, which is again a software to interact with unstructured database or non-relational database. Let's see some examples. So you have MySQL, PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle Database, and all of these are examples of relational DBMS. Then you have MongoDB, Membase, Redis, CouchDB, Cassandra. All of these are examples of non-relational DBMS which store, or, or uh, to be apt to say, these work with unstructured databases. Finally, let's see what is SQL and NoSQL. SQL, simply put, is a programming language. It's known as structured query language and it is used 
to store, retrieve and manipulate any data that is available in relational databases. And the way it works is when you use an RDBMS, that is a relational DBMS, you basically write SQL code and it is also known as SQL queries to interact with the database. When you use MySQL DBMS, you will write SQL queries in MySQL format or MySQL syntax. When you use SQL Server, you will use a slightly different syntax, but more or less fundamentally almost 80% of the functionality and usage syntax is all the same across these different RDBMS that we saw in the previous slide. Talking about NoSQL, it is also called not only SQL. NoSQL is not a language, but it's a class of DBMS that are non-relational and generally do not use SQL. Some examples, as we saw in the last slide, were MongoDB and Cassandra. One thing to note here is that we also call relational databases as SQL database and non-relational databases as NoSQL database. Finally, I have an example for you, usually transactional systems, and not in all cases, but mostly like banking. Okay, Banking uh, uses SQL. Whereas social media platforms are more likely to use NoSQL because it is much suited for unstructured data. And many corporate systems use SQL and there are loads and loads of companies that use a mix of SQL as well as NoSQL. So that's just a bullet point for you. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel and you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you are on LinkedIn, you can follow me on at the rate turn to data. That's it. See you with another video next week. Thank you.